I've heard God's servant say that there is, no, there is no occultic man born of a woman or even born of the devil that will tell him, lift up your hands and deny Jesus. It is impossibly impossible. Hi guys, this is Emeka Anselm and you're going to be so charged by this message. I love how Pastor Isaac Oedipo took some very vital lessons he got from his father, Bishop David Oedipo, and further explained them to broaden our understanding. Listen and be blessed. said, flee from all appearances of evil. Once it looks evil, flee. Canceling with the door closed. The opposite sex, nothing may be happening, but it looks evil. Flee from it. Leave the door open for open access. When it comes to your destiny, there is no return match. If you miss it once, you have missed it forever. If it looks evil, flee from all appearance. Prayer meeting with the opposite sex alone. It looks evil. Even if nothing is happening, what must you do? Flee. Let me hear you louder. What must you do? What must you do? Flee, flee, flee. We must become sensitive to what looks evil. Not just what is evil, but what looks evil. What looks evil. If you see a pastor going to pray at midnight for someone to be delivered without going with an accompanist, that looks evil. And many are falling for the trap of it. But you and I shall never be victims in the name of Jesus. The word flee, if you check it very well, means to run as in terror. That means when you see anything looking evil, start running. The word says, I've given to you a mouth and a wisdom, mouth to speak. So even as you are saying in the name of Jesus, you are also running in his name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are saying in the name of Jesus, but you are also running in his name. You are declaring his name, but you are running in his name. If you look at Joseph, what did Joseph do? He wasn't quoting scripture. He wasn't quoting his dream. Once he saw that the, 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 the master's wife grabbed him, he left the court and ran. Grace for you and I to run as in terror at the appearance of every unrighteous work that grace is hereby released upon us. Let me hear I understand this by watching God's servant and by watching this great commission that when God locates a sanctified vessel, he gives them what is called the Midas touch. That is anything they touch works. Anywhere they touch it, it works. That is what is happening to this great commission. Anything God's servant touches works. Church is working. School is working. Primary working. Secondary working. Tertiary working came all the way to the village where no man should be found it is working why when god finds a sanctified vessel he gives that vessel a midas touch in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth no matter what is not working around us by our personal decision for sanctification it will work Keep a godly company. Let me quickly say here that a churchy company doesn't equal a godly company. Ooh. A churchy company doesn't equal a godly company. I've observed very well God, servant Bishop David Oedekpo, you hardly, very few people, as he said, this is my friend. Because your company determines what accompanies you. A wise man said, I will tell you who you will be in the next five years on two accounts. The books you read and the company you follow. Watch who you call your company. Be cautious with your company. I heard of this story from my father in the Lord, Bishop David Oedekpo, talking about what one of his spiritual fathers told him. This man was a very rugged man caught in some kind, of, some kind of issue. I can't remember exactly what it was. And his father in the Lord said, but how can you be found doing such a thing? And he looked at his father in the Lord in his eye. And he said, he's, he knows he's going to hell, but his duty is to take him with him. That is in the same church. Watch your company. That you are in the same service group doesn't make you same company. 
Watch your company. Watch your company. Watch your company. He said, my son, if sinners entice you, consent not. Consent not. There are those you walk with who set you on fire. There are those you walk with who kill the fire. I, I remember this from, from the testimony, the story of God's servant Bishop Oedeko. At the beginning of this ministry, many told him, take it easy, take it easy. Take. Why are you hitting yourself so hard following after God? Let me tell you one way you know you are in the wrong company. When everybody tells you, take it easy, instead of telling you, take charge. They make you comfortable in laxity. Instead of pushing you with propensity, with intensity to your destiny. So watch your company. Watch your company. If you are hanging around prostitutes, it's only a matter of time. It will so happen. If you are hanging around liars, it's only a matter of time. It will soon happen. If you are hanging around those taking alcohol, it's only a matter of time. It will soon happen. But grace, for you and I to say no, no, no. Those two letters are some of the most difficult for people to say, no, I refuse. No, no. That grace to say no, to delete wrong contacts from your telephone, to block wrong contacts from your telephone. That grace is hereby released upon us. <laughs> Breakthroughs. Let me say this. It may be very shocking to many of us. There are some of us that think we are a voice, but we are simply an echo. There is, both are speaking, but they are echoing what somebody else has said. They have not encountered revelation for themselves. I hear this. It is encounter that makes life to count. And you can't have encounters with revelation without sanctification. Before revelation is sanctification. If you look at Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6 down to 12, something must happen. There must be sanctification. Then shall your light break forth. I've heard God's servant say that there is, no, there is no occultic man born of a woman or even born of the devil that will tell him, lift up your hands and deny Jesus. It is impossibly impossible. There is such a boldness that even when they see, they reverse. Because there is, there is, there is certainty of one's walk with God. When you see a man speaking boldly without fear, please note, he's walking right with God. There are things you cannot say if you have a skeleton in a cupboard. There are, there are statements you cannot decree if you have something hiding somewhere. It takes righteousness to exhibit boldness as a lion. In the name of Jesus, whatever has kept this commission standing 41 years plus has not been able to bow to any devil because we have not sold our hands with bribery and corruption. That same grace comes upon you and I to live godly in the name of Jesus. The church today is filled with many who are repenting their evil instead of repenting from their evil. I was struck to the core when I heard God's servant say in the first service, David committed murder and adultery at the same time. Yet, two things are noted about David. Jesus came as the son of David. Anytime people scream, thou son of David, have mercy on us, Jesus stood still. Number two, Jesus has the key of David that opened a door and no man shut it. But this man made incredible errors. What was his secret? He was authentic before God. His repentance was genuine before God. Please hear this. The purpose of the teachings of this month is not to bring about remorse, but to bring about repentance. There's a difference. Repentance leads to forgiveness. Remorse leads to regret. You can be remorseful and be in regret all the days of your life, recounting the evil that you have done in the past. But genuine repentance says, Lord, you have forgiven me. The blood has washed it clean because I confessed of my sin. Now it is now in the past. It has been thrown into the sea of forgetfulness. The call to us this morning, as it has been all through this month, is genuine repentance. Genuine repentance. Authentically repenting before God. 
If godly, ungodliness is so costly, the cure is repentance. Lord, I am sorry. Lord, I made a mistake. Lord, I made an error. And I recognize my error, but I also recognize your forgiveness. Forgive me of this sin. Forgive me of this unrighteousness. And then suddenly you find out his blood comes and washes you clean. In the name of the Lord Jesus, on the final day, when the trump shall sound, none of us in the faith tabernacle, including myself, shall be found wanting.